Yeah, hi there, this is Mark from HiWatt, uh, speaking to Accordo.it in Italy. I'd just like to run you through a few of our models that we've got here at the NAM show. So, obviously HiWatt is synonymous with power, clarity, beautiful good looks and an artist roster that's second to none. The things that have made this uh, so popular in the past have been obviously things like the Custom 100, which is the staple hi amplifier used by a generation of world famous guitar players from Pink Floyd, The Who, um, countless bands from the 60s all the way to the present day. We've got its little brother there, the Custom 50, which is popular for the guys playing slightly smaller gigs. You still get all the tone and the presence, obviously with less power. Uh, if we move around the stand, as you can see here, we've got a high watt Custom 400 bass head. Now this is a real monster. This actually pumps out about 580 watts of pure valve power. All hand built like all of our products in the UK. This thing is not for the faint hearted, it's a serious gigging machine. The cab that it's matched with there is the uh, full range which is a 115 plus a 410 base cabinet. As we move around you can see we've got a, a selection of signature series amplifiers. So we've got one here that's based on the SAP that was made back in the late 60s for a certain gentleman called Jimmy Page. You may have heard of him. He had quite a good career. If we move across from there we've got the SSP which is based on the PA amplifier that was made for Pete Townsend of The Who. Obviously he, he had a massive wall of these amps and cabs and he is one of the main guys that's propelled high watt forward over the years. Going next to it here we have the amplifier that we have made for Noel Gallagher. We're just starting this as a production model now. I'll just move the chair out of the way so you can see. This is a 100 watt head loaded into a 2x12 vertical though, which is unusual for high watt. We've never done this before, but Noel asked us to do it and who were we to say no? As we move past there, we've got the studio stage combo. In England, this is a very, very famous combo with the bands. We have guys like the Arctic Monkeys, we have Joe Walsh of the Eagles, we have countless ba uh, other indie bands all using this amplifier. It's a Class A amplifier, it's got a EL84 power tubes and it's got a switch on the back to change it from 20 to 40 watts, so hence the name Studio Stage. We've done a Mark III now which has got a foot switch for both the reverb and for the gain boost. As we walk around the stand here, you can actually see, in fact, here we go. This is a good one for you. This is actually an amplifier that was owned by David Gilmore in the 70s. It's from 1971. It's a DR103 and it's been modified by Pete Cornish, who was the very famous tech of the day who used to modify all the top band's gear. The cabinet was not David's. That's a 1968 original high watt cabinet. It's got the rare grill cloth on the front and the aluminium high watt logo plate, which. Uh, they only did for a very short time in 1968, so it's very rare and very cool. If I show you the back of the amplifier, you can see here the modifications that Pete Cornish did. This is a very uh, iconic amplifier. and As, as you know, uh, David Gilmer had the, the best tone in the world and he still gets voted every year with, as the greatest guitar tone in the world. And hi, what's behind that? Obviously, the fact that he's a great guitar player uh, has something to do with it, I'm sure. Right, starting here, we have some new amplifiers that we've uh, designed and developed, especially for this show. We're actually launching them properly at the Music Mesa in a couple of months, but we wanted to show them here to gain the audience reaction, and actually, the reaction to them has been absolutely amazing. Uh, these are basically 20-watt versions of the Signature Series amplifiers, and we're selling these as a, a complete half-stack What's interesting about these is uh, the amplifier is made in England, but we're having the woodwork and the speaker made in China, so we can really squeeze down the price and make it affordable for a lot more guys. The, um, the amplifiers, as I say, are made in England. The speaker is a Fane, but it's a Chinese-made Fane. It's still a very high-quality speaker. But as I say, it, it means that there's going to be an entry into our wonderful hand-built amps at a much lower price point. Now, along with the features that are the same as the Signature Series, we have also incorporated a half power, in fact it's not half power, there's a switch on the back of the amplifier to take it from 20 watts down to half a watt. So, perfect if you're recording in the house, all you guys who have got your home recording setups, 
get one of these, stick it in the corner of the room. It looks beautiful, but also you switch it to half a watt and you can get some amazing valve tone and it's all hand built. 